Hey guys, I'm Rosalvain, and welcome back to another episode of Assassin's Creed Odyssey. Where we last left off was that we basically did a few side quests. We finished up two of them, or three of them. Um, now we got two more to go, which is going to be the uh, elixir hunting, which we need to look for the ingredients for the elixir. Where is it? Uh, this one, yes. So we'll get the elixir first, and then we'll go ahead and go to... Uh, this one after that romancing the stone garden uh i think this one is related to the the fight against medusa so that's why i want to get to the elixir first before going into uh the thing so let's see what we're looking for so cone snails can be found in shark bay on the eastern shore of the vineyard canyon which is over here so there's two of them right there and then there's one more which is the highest peak is right there and the Ancient Pearl, which is a little bit down here. Okay, so we basically just need to fast travel up here. Get these two fast travel down to the south one, uh, to the to the one, like, bottom of it by a little bit. And then get that last thing and then move towards uh, turning in all those three ingredients towards the elixir lady. Yeah, so that's where we're at so far. It's just basically doing this. Oh, there's a bunch of wolves again. The mountain. The Hellebore should be here somewhere. Oh god, they were about to attack and I dodged right at the timing, which is nice. At least I'm getting leather out of this. There we go. At least the crits are coming into into play here, so that's good. Did, did I get the Hellebore? She said that we need to get the Hellebore, I was like, not sure. Oh, right there. That's one. Now let's go down to there to grab whatever it is for the water. From the water. And then we'll fast travel down to the other part. I mean, at least they're nearby the fast travels. Makes things a lot easier for me. Because I've already been through these parts of the land. Um, otherwise, if it wasn't, I would have been a little bit angrier. But at least we got through it. Like, we got through most of it, at least. Shark Bay. We haven't been through here before, but... I'm looking to see if there's any animals out here or people, but we'll see. Since it's Shark Bay, I have to expect there are a bunch of sharks down here. Great. Yeah, we're gonna have to keep fighting sharks. So far, this island has a lot of shark, shark problems, honestly. I could have just went to shoot arrows at these guys, but... Shipwreck. The cone snails must be close by. Come here. Oh, jeez. That was a close one. There it goes. One and two. There we go. Cool. At least we got those two quickly out of the way. Clear this area out. Grab that. More cone snails. Where's the other one? Wait, is that it? That Did we just get all the, the one cone snail I needed? Oh, there's a thing up here. I don't know why I picked up. It's, apparently, it didn't tell me what I picked up there. Oh, well. Yeah, so we got the cone snail we needed. I think there was only one cone snail we just need, so... Alrighty. Um, is that a wood, or is that just a big big thing that looks like wood? Big thing that looks like wood. Alright, let me go and uh, fast travel down to here, or would it be... Five fifty-eight, three eighty-nine. How far am I from it? Three eighty-nine. I'm trying to see, or I'm trying to think about. I'm sorry, I'm just trying to calculate the math in my head. I think it's about 200 meters away from it. So, yeah, I better just... I'd rather just do this. Yeah, it's like about less than 200 meters away. Uh, from, from the point... From that viewpoint to the... Uh, to the, the goal... The goal location. Yeah, it's like 5, 589 minus... Uh, it's 358 or something. So it's like... Something like that. I don't remember the numbers exactly anymore. Yeah, 242. So that's not that bad from distance. 
the time it takes to get there will probably be like easier, but at the same time, um, at the same time, I would say that it's. Uh, I also saw the iron metal. I just ignored it. <laughs> um, but yeah, like at the same time, I just think that I kind of greatly care about the distance, maybe. But I guess the time it takes for me to calculate that would have been enough time for me to get to this location from wherever on foot. But whatever. I don't know. I mean, I'm just whatever with it now at this point. Really? I had to go into this cave? Oh boy, we're going to the cave. This is the right area. The cave with the mushrooms should be close. Bear! Man, this is a big bear. Two bears! Oh jeez, there are two big bears here. Ow. Oh jeez. Oh, oh, god dang it! One attacks and then the other one's like... Okay, and snap. Oh, jeez. Oh, no, no, no. My goodness. One bear is enough. Two is ridiculous, really. Oh, they're both dead because crit. <laughs> the crit seems to got them pretty easily. There we go, got them. My goodness. The freaking crit was good. Yeah, there's, so those glowing mushrooms are technically the mushrooms we're looking for, I guess, for what the lady was looking for. But at least that was, like... At least that was done, at least. And we got some rewards out of it. I see a glowing ore. Oh, there's two ores over here. Let me get this one first. Iron metal. You have too many iron metal. I just don't know why you can't sell, sell these, like, stuff anymore. This pisses me off that it, like in Origins you could sell all the materials you don't need to just get more money for some other stuff. But in this case this game chose to do like a, a blocking on like how to not allow the player to just sell these stuff to get more money. Probably because they saw that it might be easier that way than not at all. Alright, let me go into the map and see where we need to go. We need to fast travel there so let me first look at this. Inventory stuff. So I need to dismantle more than I need to sell because the materials I need is much more needed than it is for the other stuff. Yeah, I need more wood and I need a lot more drachme for sure. That's a lot more wood and drachme, yeah, it's a lot of it. I want to upgrade the hull though because I want to get good armor so I can survive the fights further, I guess. Anyways, um, let's fast travel. Get the elixir and then let's see if this elixir will guarantee helping us or not. Um, if it does help us, that would be good. If it doesn't, then I guess I would understand why it wouldn't help us. But I'm starting to wonder if she's going to make only one. And then we have to make the hard choice of, like, giving it to a person. Or if we're going to be... Or she's making multiple so she can help bring those petrified people back to life. Like, as much as people... As many people as she can. But I think this elixir might not work out, though. Because... What's the point of the game if it's, like, trying to give us a perfect solution to everything, right? But I mean, there was a lot of effort just to do something so small. In my opinion, it's kind of small. Saffle School. Lady? You're back. Do you have the ingredients? Yes. I do. Very good. Now I'll be able to make a new store of elixir. Store? But first, I need to make sure it's safe for human consumption. The vial on the table is my last dose. I saved it especially for you. Why me? I'm not drinking anything with bear dung mushroom in it. Don't be silly. Drink it and you'll be impervious to petrifaction. I... I'm not sure about this. <laughs> you believe my elixir works, don't you? Why is this a lie? I don't know if that's... 
I'll try it. If it does what you say it does, I'd be a fool not to drink it. Yes, drink it all down. I want to kick this lady's ass. I noticed something while testing the elixir on my life subjects. We all turn to stone when we're dead. They're not statues. They're my children. Oh, God. Come on, really? I drank it too. Mother trucker, this lady is so freaking ridiculous. Is she a cultist? I wonder about that. I'm wondering if she's a cultist or not. Alright, well. Oh my god, the freaking knockback. Nope. How dare you. So that means I drank that, and that literally killed me almost, right? I'm so confused. So I drank it. So what does that do to me? I'm stealing it. Screw it. I did kill her, but I didn't kill her like in front of people. Like, blade to, to throat kind of thing. What is this? I just... I, I thought I just picked up something there. I guess not. Well, I got one of the chests. Where's the other chest? Well, I mean, I don't know. I don't know what to expect. She was... Really weird. I wonder if that was true, though. I was I was wondering if that is actually a, a legitimate thing. That uh, drinking the elixir... Or maybe that was supposed to, like, knock me out or something. Like, make me weaker. I don't get it. I actually do not understand what that quest did to me. I have no clue what that quest did to me. I seriously don't. I'm confused by what she just did. Did she just did it just because she wanted to turn me into stone after drinking it? Like, after I drank it, like, it was uh, a trap for me to turn into a stone once she kills me? Or would it, was it to prepare the petrification to, uh, preparation to petrify me and then stuff? I don't know anymore. I'm just so confused with that quest. Like, I finished it, I'm just, I'm just, like, so that means am I immune to petrification? <laughs> or was she just preparing my body for petrification? I don't get it. So stupid. So stupid. And I drank it, so I was stupid enough to drink it. I shouldn't have drank it, though. Oh, well. Alright, let's go into, uh, let's go to this lady that we saved and try to save her best friend or her sister. I'm gonna call it a sister because she's basically one of the uh, Artemis, sisters of Anima Artemis ladies, so might as well just do the thing. I like how the bodies now stay in the world now, nowadays, because those bodies essentially are like remnants of what I did. They're all scared, even though they're not even Getting attacked anymore. You're safe now. Safe? I don't want to be safe, Mistyos. I want to look deep into Ligia's eyes just once more. Even if it kills me. Oh, she's just in love with the lady, I guess? Love might be the end of us all. But it's a price worth paying. I polished Charon's drachmi long ago, Mistyos. I'm ready. You know, I don't want to call you you. Forever. Yeah. My name's Brice. Cassandra. Ligia's waiting for me, Cassandra. If I'd been captured, I'd never have to wait for her. Sure. Then let's not disappoint her. Where was she taken? From our sanctuary, the Dread Ruins in the Petrified Valley. And you're surprised she was taken by a creature? It's not safe here. We need to leave the city. Well, let me loot this thing anyways, so... Where are you going? I'm not going anywhere. I was just looting the thing before I went out. Oh god, that thing was like slippery sliding there. Are we not taking horses? Are you sure? Oh, now we're taking horses. Okay. That was strange. She was not taking horses. But at the same time, this game is slowing down my camera movement every time she moves for some reason. Or every time I had to turn around. It's kind of strange because my controller was not... Yeah, now my, my camera movements are back again. Kind of weird. Yeah, it's way quicker to use the camera on the horse than it is to use it on... 
Yeah, these horses are faster than the normal horses that I normally remember it being. This is interesting. It's way quicker. Oh, sorry. Didn't mean to. I already know where we're headed. It's literally to the temple there. Come on. My goodness. Is she gonna- we go now. Really? Where's the, where? She just got off on foot. Wait, that's it? That's the quest? That's part of the. Oh, I'm guessing that's part one of the quest. <laughs> that's so random, though. It's just like, oh, we're done with the quest. It's like, oh, wait, what? All right, we need to talk to Bryce. Let me dismantle that armlet or gauntlet. Yeah, dismantle this as well. Don't need it. I just need the wood and the leather. This place is ours, Ligia's and mine. Oh. A forbidden place for forbidden love. Not much of a love nest. True. I've seen more romantic funerals. I found Oof. scraps of her clothes leading to the writhing dreads lair. Please, we need to hurry. Let's go. Time to find Ligia. You lead the way. I'm guessing this is like a... Uh... I'm guessing this... Uh... This, uh, this particular location and the unlocking of this side quest is literally like a confirmation of doing the quest of defeating Medusa, I'm guessing. So that's probably what it is. Whoa. Oh. Who's Phobos? That's not my horse. That was some random other horse that I do not know. Phobos looks different than that, damn it. I'm so confused why they called it Phobos. Is that a cave? What is this place? It's empty of life. We enter the realm of the riding thread. Listen, it's as if sound itself is afraid of what the fog veils. It's getting hard to breathe. Even the air is dead. Dead, I see. Is she turned to stone, I'm guessing? These statues are unnervingly lifelike. Their faces are contorted in fear. It destroys all living things, transforming them to stone and leaving them frozen in fear for all eternity. Is this actually the entrance to the... If Ligia, if she's... If she's stone, how will we bury her? She'll never meet Charon. Oh, oh sorry. Ligia! Ligia! Please, I mean... Wait. I mean, we can keep following her. I, I mean, I'm I'm caught up with her. I'm just like a little bit next to her. But this lady's gonna turn into stone. I bet anything, anything for sure that she's gonna turn into stone. Yeah, the door is blocked off. We need to break this door open or something. Why do you act like a little girl about this lady? We need to get inside. But I see no openings. And the walls are too smooth to climb. She shouldn't be in there. She should be in my arms. Her breath. Her smell. Why are you like this? She's Every too obsessed. Every night dread ruins. I was late. Just once. I wanted to find her a rose. Something as perfect as she is. This is my fault. If I'd gotten there in time. I think if if she got in there in time, she would have been with her in getting stuck inside there. And I wouldn't be able to help either one of those two. <laughs> then you'd both be trapped inside. Yeah. Together? Yeah. You are searching for a rose. A gift. Never regret an act of kindness, Breeze. Thank you. Alrighty. Now let's go save her. What do you know about this place? Ligia is a daughter of Artemis. Her people trained here long ago. A legend tells of an ancient artifact they recovered in a pit full of snakes. She believed they still had it, hidden in their village on Hios. Lo, I I'll picked it up. It. There's also a mercenary, a man who claims he killed the creature. Impossible. Oh? But many believe him. He might know something. Then why don't we find this mercenary? I already know, I already have the, the key to getting in. I just don't know who the mercenary is yet. This mercenary, the slayer of the writhing dread, 
Where can I find him? He waits in a temple atop the hill in ancient peril. Champions from all over seek to challenge him to build their reputations, but there is no way he killed the creature. If he did, how was Ligia taken? Yeah, did the creature is not the dead. Creature yourself? No, but only the writhing dread would be strong enough to take Ligia. She's too fierce. And too stubborn. Okay. I'll find a way inside, and then I'll kill this creature. And I'll find Ligia the Rose I should have given her that night. <laughs> <clears throat> Someone, I tell you, in another time will remember us. The poet Sappho. Our favorite. Please, Cassandra, hurry. The region of the ancient pearl. Wow, that was an easy quest. Why is there another easy thing? <laughs> Why? Game, you're giving me free quests with EXP for some reason. And then Heart to Artemis. Yeah, because I already got the, the amulet thing that was supposedly opening the door, I guess. Maybe? We'll see. Um, dismantle this for sure for the materials I need. Oh, it gives me leathers and wood. Nice. Um, what's the quest looking like? It says multiple quests, so I'm worried. Alright, so we got... We need to find the mercenary and talk to this guy. And then, of course, one of the other quests was to pick up the amulet, or the key to opening the door, and we already did, so that is out of the way. So we just need to find this guy, and then we should be fine. Um... I believe the highest peak in Ancient Pearl has already been grabbed. It's right here, I believe. Oh, let me uh, mark the quest. I actually did not mark the quest. Yeah. I believe it's this one, because this is the highest peak on Ancient Pearl, so... Fast travel! I mean, it's super easy if it's, like, a highest peak, and there's literally, like, a viewpoint right there. <laughs> I'm like, why? Why does this even matter then? Why does it even matter if I have to like worry about it too much to get there? I think my vibration, the controller vibrated. Yeah. There's the temple of the hill. I mean, I literally just saw the dude, and I was like, that's probably the guy. He wasn't here when we went up here. Lives are like the rising and setting of the sun. So he just probably spawned in asked Excuse after the quest. Me? We're born into darkness and rise up to the greatest peaks before descending into darkness once more. A warrior and a sophist. This is a first. It is not philosophy. It's truth. Learned through violence, fate, and seeing evil. True evil. <laughs> You're talking about the writhing dread. The creature. When it ambushed us outside, we thought only of survival. My spear allowed me to stay out of its gaze. I was lucky. My friends weren't. Um... Tell me how you were able to defeat the creature. It all happened so fast. We had a plan to break into the temple and corner it. But it ambushed us before we got inside. There was no time for strategy after that. Huh. <laughs> okay. Why go after the creature in the first place? Yeah. We were hired to steal an ancient item from within its lair by masked soldiers. Oh, is the it's part of the cultists. The cultists has probably hired them. Tell me about the item they wanted you to steal. Truth is, I don't even think they knew exactly what it is. After I killed the creature, I went to search the lair, but it was sealed. So they killed the creature, pushed the creature into the building itself, and then the, the building itself was unlockable. Like, it was not openable, so it ba basically they really didn't kill the monster. Instead, they just pushed the monster back. That's worthless. Give me that spear. Yeah. We are warriors. To let it go without a fight would be to dishonor my fallen friends. Okay. Hello. Goodbye. Ow. I don't even have enough adrenaline shots, apparently. Oh, jeez. That guy's really interesting with a spear, like, combat. Ow. Oh, dang it. Not enough damage, though. The crit's not in, currently. Oh. Oh. Ow. Jeez. Oh. I need to get some health back at least. 
He didn't. He didn't went down apparently. Okay, that's interesting. Ow. Mm. Oh god. I hear some glowy noises though. For some reason, like, there's glowy noises coming out of his uh, his, his weapons. I think. So, uh, goodbye. Sorry, buddy. Nothing special about this spear. Oh. Really? So the spear has nothing really. I couldn't save my friends, I couldn't save the woman. She leapt with grace of Artemis towards the creature. Oh! So, the lady that the, uh, that Brise was mentioning got into the fight with them. So she's the one who killed it. Not, <laughs> not the, not this guy, the lady did. Apparently the lady was the one who killed Medusa. Interesting. I didn't realize that was the case. Okay, let me go and dismantle this. This spear is really useless, honestly. Yeah, I don't... Swear as he had this in his hand when he almost killed the Gork. Screw you. That is not even a great weapon at all. I'm sorry. That's like... It's not even gold, especially. So it's like, why? Why do I even bother? I only did it to just get information. But at the very least, we now know... That this guy was working for the cultists. Like, they were paid cultists members. Or, not members, but like, paid cultists mystios. We're soldiers, I guess. I'd rather call them mercenaries instead of, like, soldiers, but... Who knows? So all these petrified people were literally his men that he left the mercenary behind. mercenary knew nothing. He never made it inside the lair. Yep. Then it was a waste of time. Lydia waits and we've done nothing to help her. Not exactly. The mercenary carried this spear, which he I dismantled it. <laughs> the dread. No, no, the creature took Lia. It can't be dead. It waits in its lair even now. Then there may be a piece of this puzzle we don't yet understand. Yeah. Have you found a way inside the lair? Lia's story was true. The daughters of Artemis were protecting this disc, key, this. <laughs> I have what opens the lair. But where do we and place it? You didn't hurt any of the daughters when you took it? Eh, there was no need for violence. The daughters of Artemis didn't even know I was there. And yeah, because I literally the am their leader now. Ligia still stands what? a chance. I'm a leader of the Artemis sisters. Why the hell do I need to worry about killing them or not? My goodness. Yeah, I didn't kill them at all. I didn't even touch them to begin with. A slithery plea. And writhing dead. Writhing dead. Okay, where's the... Oh, there's the key. Okay, I was like, where does this disc go to? <laughs> Here we come, Medusa. We're gonna kick your ass. Oh, wow. No, lady, Please, no! Wait. You yeah. idiot! is yeah. gonna die. I'm, I'm sorry. This love story is going to end with both the ladies' death. Both of these ladies are dead. I'm sorry. I don't really care about these get ladies at all. I don't even know why. Breeze, you have no idea what. You... Breeze. Just let her die, damn it, Cassandra. She doesn't care. She just cares about her loved one, and is annoying as hell already. Angry snakes. A bad omen. Bad omen. How bad is it? funny because I could just burn them all and get leathers out of this. Like, why the hell Why the hell would I not, like, use this to just get some leathers? No, I needed to get the torches out. I mean, at the same time, it's easier to just throw a bunch of, like, fire at that, I guess. Get out of here, man. Really? Snakes? Really? There we go. Is there any more snakes? I think there's one more in the back here, maybe. Two more, it looks like. Three more, actually. What? There's water there, apparently, I think? Oh, come on, I really missed that, really? There we go. Just to be sure, I gotta throw it there, I guess. 
Oh, there's one right there. I see it. Screw you, snakes. I see ya. They didn't do anything wrong, but they're just getting in my way. Oh my god, there's so much soft leathers out of this one. Alright, I think I killed all the snakes in that pit. That's hilarious, though. Oh, jeez. I didn't- Oh, jeez! Ah, oh, god dang it. Screw off. Screw off. The spear, at least, is helpful in this case, because they're like... Yeah, the spear is helpful in this case because I get to, like, do whatever. Like, it's just spear and torches. Stuff like that would be the best. Come here, you bastard. Oh, come on, really? This is so bad. <laughs> I'm so bad at throwing. No! I hate it because there's a slight bit of a trajectory and I just can't even throw it. <laughs> there we go. Thank goodness. Screw off, snake. Is there more snakes over here? Oh, there's some definitely more snakes. Too many snakes are in this game. Too much. Why is this whole place filled with snakes? Damn it. Oh, no, no. I wanted to pick up the torch. Oh, missed. Screw off. Thanks. I need to, like, take my steps. I need to tread lightly, because apparently there's a bunch of snakes everywhere. And I can't see all of them in a weird way. I hear snakes, but I don't know where. Where's the remaining snakes? Oh, snake. Thank you. Where did the preset go, though? It's like, it's so random that they just disappeared. She just disappeared on this. No, I didn't mean to land on this one. Okay, there we go. I was like, oh no, I don't want to land on there. Screw off. I just want some free items here, or some free money. I think that's the end of the snakes there for now. Yeah, I'm just clearing out as much snakes as I can right now, so I can just, like, get the heck out of here with, like, as much prize and rewards for myself. Maybe it's up here that I need to go to, like, get to Brise. Snakes. Is there anything down? I don't think there's anything down there, though. Oh, I can slide under here. Okay, cool. I was kind of confused what the heck... Oh, jeez. A lot of snakes. Get out of here, buddy. Oh, jeez. Ow. More snakes. Jesus. No. 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 My god. It's like snakes galore in here. It's like... I could do the torches, but the torches take a bit more time than the stabby stabby of the thing. Alright. So there was two ways over to here. Like one on bottom and one on top, it looks like. I wonder what would have happened if I took the one on top. Screw off. Thank you very much. There's some more snakes there. There's like two of them, it looks like. My god dang it, dude. Seriously, I just want, like, stuff without having to be interrupted by freaking snakes. Gotta get these mother effing snakes off this mother effing tr plane. Not train. I was gonna say train for some reason. This is the movie of snakes on the plane already coming in. What? Who? What? What is she saying? What is she doing? Oh, there's... Oh, the yeah, snake. I didn't see it. I couldn't see it because... It's getting dark in here. Alright, cool. We got some more obsidian and gems here. Only one myth speaks of turning victims to stone. Medusa, obviously. Why wouldn't we know the warnings of stone turning if there's no Medusa involved? At the same time this game did market the the idea that they were going to let the players like face against face off against the uh Really game? Really? Really, Cassandra? 
I wanted to climb this thing to see what's up here. Oh, there is some stuff up here. Any snakes up here? Oh, there is one. Oh, you didn't hit me, buddy. Thank you. A lot of leathers, though. Lots and lots of leathers. I'm sorry if I'm spending so much time getting a hold of that. That I'm, I should be actually going for the fight against Medusa right now, but... Oh! There we go. There's another one right there in the back of me, but I'm gonna avoid that for now. Um, let me get at least one of them out of the way. Oh! Ah! There we go. My goodness. Oh. Uh, here. Nope, it did not catch it. Okay, I thought it caught in fire already, but it didn't. I mean, these damages are not too bad. I mean, at least you can heal up from these damages, but... Still, just annoying as hell. It's just the idea that these snakes are so annoying. I think I see it. Yeah, I see it. Alright. Oh, jeez. There's more, more than one than I anticipated. Alright, there's another one there. Is there more? Jesus. I think that was it. Yeah, that was all of it. Okay, cool. Pick up this one as well, I guess. But no, I already did. Okay. The radius was yeah. wide enough to <laughs> pick up that one. Alright, let's go and fight this Medusa and then we'll end the episode there after that. Holy hell, that is one ugly Medusa. No, 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 no. No. Don't look into her eyes. Oh. She turned into a, a monster somehow. Ah. Oh, I need to like break the thing open, I guess. Oh god. Oh god, oh god. Ow. Ah. Oh, I get to turn into stone here. Ah, son of a gun. Oh, oh jeez, oh jeez, oh jeez. I can't even, like... So it's basically this lady likes using a bunch of, like, soldiers attack, I guess, maybe? Oh god. There we go. Oh, there we go. Oh jeez, oh jeez. Screw off, lady. I wonder if there's a second phase or something like that in this fight. I bet there is. Oh, come on. I didn't even, like, came out. I, I barely came out of my animation there. Oh, I was about to dodge that. You bastard. I'm sorry, lady, but you're not Lydia anymore or Ligia anymore, so. Oh, good. Oh, no, no, no. Oh, God. Oh, God. Oh, God. I, I saw some arrows, so might as well take it. My palms are getting sweaty for some reason. Oh, come on. I wasted my overpower attack. Oh, God. Oh, God. Oh, God. Okay, well, I need to be careful here. Oh my god, this is tough because she's like... She's tough because she's like able to like hit me without me knowing. There we go. Yeah, my crits are not coming into play here, so it's really difficult. 
So maybe the strategy is to deal with damage with her without having to get petrified like this. Alright, got her leg though. Oh god, okay, those things are really difficult to deal with. Okay, well I got that, apparently. Oh god, not again. Oh, jeez. No, 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 no. Oh, oh, I'm dead. <laughs> okay, well, it looks like it's gonna be a tough fight. It's looking to be a tough fight because this Medusa seems to spawn up enemies. You need to kill all the enemies, all her spawned up enemies, and then aim to hit her. And it looks like hunter damage is way more, uh, way more necessary than it is to use the overpower attacks, which I'm always used to though. Uh, right, I need to let everything kind of like. I need the cutscene to linger a little bit in order to uh, do whatever it is. Right, send them out. Send your assholes out. I mean, I can't even fight her anyway, so it seems like it's plausible to. Oh. I have to wait till this beam goes away at least, but I can't fight without having to, like. There we go. At least a little bit more. There we go. Oh, 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 come on! How I dodged that, you ass! Uh, get, get up. Alright, well, at least we got some good damage, I guess. Oh, come on! Oh, this lady. Okay, well, I'm gonna have to hide behind a column for now. I'm, I'm thankful that the column is a thing. Well, it looks like I'm gonna break into the, uh, yeah, I was gonna break the arrows, the arrow stuff. Mm, okay, I'm gonna probably not get enough damage to kill, but we'll see. Yeah, okay, cool. Now we're back in phase two again. Where's the guys jumping down? Where are they? Okay, there we go. Oh. How the heck did you guys do this every time? Yeah, I can't I can't do anything without overpower attack in this case. Oh boy. How in the name do you sometimes get me like that? At least two of the columns got hit right there instead of one. Oh no 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 that was a close one though. Oh oh come on! Oh this is so stupid. Come on get up This is such a stupid fight. I hate this fight already. Can't believe it. If I do lose again I will probably have to like start over again and like uh probably stop the fight for now oh hey thankfully she was behind herself she put herself behind that thing okay well where is she now okay there she is okay well i messed that up oh no 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 okay there we go or at least Okay, messed it up, but it's fine. Like, some damage at least, I guess. Be nice. Oh, God. Oh, no, no. Oh, there we go. Where is she? Oh, she went back to doing the thing again. That's fine, I guess. But as long as I just be careful with whoever is attacking me from here. It's dangerously difficult. Oh, jeez. Okay, that was a close one. Oh, ah. Okay, okay. 
At least it made me a little bit vulnerable, like less vulnerable. Okay. Okay. Oh, oh, jeez. There we go. I needed to use my overpower attack because I couldn't get out of that. There we go. This is the last fight. Oh, I was about to use my overpower attack for some reason. I don't care anymore. I don't care about the, the arrows things because I have enough arrows to stand, withstand the attacks. Oh, jeez. Oh god, oh god, oh god, oh god, oh god. Where is she going? Is she using the beam again? Oh jeez, oh god, oh god, okay. Gotta be careful here. Where'd she go? Oh, there she is. No, ult oh, over power attack, please! Ah. Okay, that's a good chunk of damage there, and I gotta be careful again. Where's it going again? Oh jeez, oh jeez, oh no, no, no. That was a close one. Where is she going sometimes? I don't even know. I have to like figure out where she goes sometimes, really. Okay. Behind the wall, thank you. Oh god dang it. Oh so close. Oh so close. There we go. Oh, come on! I, 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 oh my god, we're almost done. We're almost done with this fight here, too. Die already, damn it, lady! Yeah, them, you bastard! Ah, I hate this Medusa fight. This was really close. Thankfully, it finished it off at, like, the fifth try. At least the fifth try we got it. <sighs> My goodness. Oh, it's another Apple of Eden, of course. Now, the question is, where is Brise? Yeah, I kind of knew that the lady turned into Medusa because it kind of felt like that was going to happen. Someone, I tell you, in another time, will remember us. Oh, that she just got shattered into small ashes? Stone of ashes, I guess? Pile of ashes? Damn, dude. Yeah, I'm hoping that this is, like, enough time for me to... Oh, we got a sword and a Medusa figurehead. And some good XP. That's not bad XP ML. Alrighty. Man, that was a really... Tough fight, but we got it at the very end. Oh, thank goodness. 25% cooldown duration for all abilities. That ain't bad, but still, I don't like it. <laughs> I want all damage, though. Okay, so we picked up all three prizes of the Minotaur, Cyclops, and Medusa. I'm guessing there might be one more out there, but I don't know yet. So we'll probably keep playing and figure that out. I like the Medusa's figurehead. Representative of female ship right there. <laughs> Makes this whole ship more female-like, honestly. Yeah, look at that. Daughters of Artemis, mixture with a Medusa figurehead. Fantastic. It's a, it's a really cool thing right now so far. All right, thank you guys for watching. Hope you guys in the next episode or another mind. Hope you guys have a great, amazing day, weekend, night, or when of watching this. The plan was technically to literally beat Medusa in this fight. Um, I didn't know how long it would have taken me. I thought it was going to take me about more than an hour like this, but it's so far this episode was an hour, yeah, but at the same time... Uh, I spent a good chunk of it just literally just trying to uh, restart the game a little bit here. So a chunk of the time was went to restarting the game. So I do apologize for that. Um, hopefully I cut that through and make it probably less shorter, like a lot shorter maybe. Or maybe you guys might not have seen the cut of uh, me crashing or the game freezing and stuff. But at least we got through the game and we're done. 
with this part of the Medusa fight. Uh, I don't know how many more mythical creatures we need to fight. I'm assuming there might be one more or two. Um, otherwise, w otherwise, what is the next part of my plan? My next plan is to head out into... Uh, so we finished all those side quests in Lesbos, so that's out of the way. So where we need to go to next is either to go down to here with the... Yeah, right here, to Anafi. So we're going to probably tra fast travel to Anafi or maybe to... Uh... Yeah, actually, let's tra travel to here. To... What's this? Mess Messiah, I think it is? Messia? Mess... Yeah, that freaking... Messara, there we go. The freaking viewpoint was blocking the R. I couldn't even see it. We're going to fast travel to Masara, and then we'll make our boat to Theras, and then we're going to try to figure out the remaining uh, cultists. So we're aiming to try to finish up the remaining cultists uh, and kill up as much more cultists as we can, and then um, after that we'll probably start slowly going back into the main quest after we finish killing more cultists and doing some more side quests that are on some of these islands that we're going to be visiting for the first time ever in this series. So. Yeah, otherwise that's going to be the plan for the remainder of this uh, part after this one because we kind of finished up a bunch of stuff already. So otherwise that's it for me in this episode. And the next episode again we'll be doing those things. Um, let me save again. I guess I saved... Yeah, I, I saved... Uh, saved without thinking about where I need to go next. Alright, other than that, that's it for me into this part. Roz, out.